Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. In our today's video, we will talk about solving percentage problems. So without further ado, let's do this topic. This is the first problem we have for this video. We have six children collect 45 pencils. 25% of the pencils need sharpening. How many pencils need sharpening? So this one is quite for good for uh, elementary students. And also, if you're reviewing for the civil service examination, it is, it is also good for you because a lot of students and adults who are reviewing for civil service examination are still struggling with the percentage problems. So remember, uh, meron tayong tatlong pinag-aaralan na percentage, base, and rate. If you want to memorize the different formula, meron tayong formula dito na ginagamit or yung pattern na ginagamit o yung triangle. So ito yung triangle natin. Here at the top is your percentage or P. At the bottom, we have the rate and base. So, later on, tuturo ko sa inyo yung derivation yan. Punta na natin yung problem. Again, 6 children collect 45 pencils. 20% 20 20 of the pencils need sharpening. How many pencils need sharpening? Ito yung mga important details na meron tayo. The 45 pencils and yung 20%. Among the three variables that we have here, percentage, rate, and base, alin sa mga yan ang nire-represent nila? First, yung 45 pencils natin. That stands for the base. Your base is equal to 45 pencils. Kasi yan yung kabuuan ng bilang ng pencils na nakolect ng 6 children. Next, yung 20% natin, it represents rate. Dahil meron siyang percentage symbol. So, we have 20%. So, tanong dito, how many pencils need sharpening? So, hinanap dito yung pinaka-percentage talaga, guys. Meaning, we will calculate for the P. Para makuha yung formula ng P, using this triangle, copy P, and then, takpa mo lang to, and as you can see, magkatabi silang dalawa, yung R and B. It implies multiplication. So, Percentage is equal to rate times base. Or pwede magbalit, percentage is equal to base times rate. So what will happen here is that itong gagawin mo, P is equal to, unayin natin yung rate, which is 20%, times your base, which is 45. Now, hindi mo pa pwedeng i-direct na i-multiply 20% by 45. Because this 20% rate must be converted into decimal. And the equivalent decimal point or value of 20% is simply 0 0.2. Okay? Sir, paano nangyari yun? Ito, explain ko lang. Yung 20% natin, starting here, mag-move po lang ng dalawa. 1 and 2 decimal points. And as you can see, you have 0 0.2. Then times 45. Multiplying, if you want to do manual computation or kung mayroon calculator, multiply 0 0.2 by 45, the answer is 9. Your percentage is equal to 9, meaning meron tayong 9 pencils na kailangan ng sharpening. Or that is equivalent to 20% of the original number of pencils. So I hope na nakuha niyo first example natin. Now, let's move on with the second example. For the second example, what we have here is this. There are 36 carpenters in a crew. On a certain day, 29 were present. What percent showed up for work? Round to the nearest tenth. Now, all in all, meron tayong 36 carpenters. And then, on a certain day, where we don't know the exact day, meron lang 29 workers na present. So, ano yung represent ng 36 and 29? Since 36, it represents the total number of carpenters sa group nila. That is your base. We have 36. Kasi yung base natin, that is the 100% or the whole. Okay? Next, what about 29, sir? Since yung 29 natin 
is part lang ng 36, meaning the reserve percentage. We have 29. Or, obviously, alam naman natin na wawala. What's missing is the rate. Dahil wala tayong percentage symbol. Ito yung hanapin natin ngayon. So, how do, how do we calculate that? Go all in triangle or sana na-memorize na. P and then R B. Since nawawala si R, copy R. And then, as you can see, P over B N. That is P over B or percentage over base. So what will happen? Substitute the value of P or pwede tayo na, no? at the end kasi you will multiply by 100%. So, times 100% na agad tayo. Yung R natin is equal to your P, which is 29, over your B, which is 36 times 100%. Ngayon, pag dinivide mo ito manually, medyo matagal, and kung pag nagkaroon ka ng calculator, your R here is... 0 0.8055 times 100%. May kalugtong pa to, pero ito na lang hinawa ko yung 4 significant digits. Ngayon, when you multiply this, it will become R is equal to times 100%. Ha? Gagawin nyo mag-move lang kayo ng 2 decimal places. 1 and 2. That is 80.55 Pero, this is correct, 80.55%. But, in our problem, ground to the nearest tenth. Ito kasi, ito yung ating tenth digit. Tenth digit. Meaning, ito yung consider natin. Ang kasama ni tenth digit is 5. Saan yung left? Ay, saan yung right side? Meaning, kapag ni-round off natin to, ang mangyayari, mag-add tayo rito ng 1. Plus 1 tayo dito, ito mawawala ito ng 5 na ito magiging 0 na siya. Meaning, our final answer for the value of rate R is equal to 80 point Since 5 yung katabi natin, when we round it off, mag-add tayo ng 1 sa 5. Sa 10th digit, 10th digit. So that is 6. So what we have now is 80.6%. This is the number of this is the percentage of 29 people who were present in a certain day sa, sa, sa grupo ng mga carpenters. So, ganun guys. I hope na nakuha niyo yung explanation natin sa two different problems meron tayo about solving percentage problems. Medyo tricky siya, pero as long as you can still identify the, the percentage, base, or rate in a given problem, hindi na siya magiging problema dahil uh, meron naman tayong derivation for the formula. So again guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but i-hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!